What's going on YouTube? This is Jay Zapata the Barber and in this video we're doing a nice drop fade and also leaving such a pompadour on top. And for this haircut you guys, I do want to let you guys know I did struggle with it just because his hair is super straight and I kind of had to figure out a way to get the top to go back like the way he wants it to go and also give a nice drop fade at the same time. So if you guys want to see the final result, make sure you guys stick around. But here starting with this haircut, I am going to begin to saturate his hair just because I am going to cut the top uh, first. Uh, so getting my client's hair nice and wet will make it a whole lot easier to go ahead and cut it down with some scissors. So every time I'm cutting with scissors, you guys, I always make sure the hair is combed in the direction that I actually want it to go. And I always like to start out in the front, in the very front. Uh, and here I'm starting off in the bangs section and I'm basically going to be sending my guideline. And that guideline, I'm going to follow that guideline all the way to the back. And then also working in three different sections. First, I start in the middle and then I work my way over to the left side and then uh, match it with the right. So now that I finished cutting the top, I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray down my client's hair with more water uh, just to make it easier to go ahead and uh, part out his hair. And I figure since his hair is super straight, by parting it on both sides evenly uh, will allow me to maintain all the length that's on the top and also blend off the side with the fade. So now to go ahead and get started on the fade, I do want to remove the bulk just because he has so much bulk on the side. Uh, so here I am using my number one and a half guard with the lever all the way open. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, go about midway just to go ahead and uh, remove all the bulk. Now here I'm continuing to remove bulk and this time I'm going to go in with the clipper over comb. And as you guys can see his hair isn't completely faded just yet just because my goal uh, at the first part was just to fully to remove the bulk uh, so here I am going in and setting in my first guideline I am using my wall cordless detailers and going around their ear I'm making sure that I drop it just to keep that nice drop fade shape and when you guys are setting in your guidelines you guys want to be as neat as possible just so you um, so that your fade isn't all over the place So as you guys know, every time you're doing a bald fade or any type of fade, it's always important to use a shaver just to go ahead and clean up any stubble that's left on the side.
Alright, to go ahead and set in my first guideline, I have my wall cordless seniors uh, with the lever all the way open and I'm going to go ahead and create a guideline by going up about an inch. Now on this next part, I did mess up when I was recording it. I did not record me blending out that bottom line. But if you guys watch all my other videos, all I really do is close the lever all the way and start blending out that bottom line by going up about a quarter of an inch and then opening the lever halfway and then fully removing that bottom line. So now here to go ahead and create a new guideline here I have my zero guard with the lever all the way open and uh, we're going to go ahead and go up about half an inch this time with the lever all the way open. Now still using the zero guard with the lever all the way closed, I'm going to go in and just flick out that bottom line. Now every time I'm doing a drop fade, I always feel like the back is a little bit tricky. So um, always go back to your previous step if you see any imperfections and just go in and uh, start playing with the lever uh, just to go ahead and touch up some spots. So now I'm using the number one guard with the lever all the way open and we're going to continue to blend up and this time creating a guideline by going up about half an inch. Now here I have the lever all the way closed and still going in and just flicking out that bottom line. Now for his fade, the number one and a half guard that I have right here with the lever all the way closed, it is going to be the biggest guard that I will be using on his fade. Uh, and here I'm just going in trying to scoop out uh, to try to go ahead and blend it as much as I can with the clipper uh, just to get it ready for the clipper over comb. So now this time uh, going in with the clipper over comb once again, I'm going to go ahead and try to perfect it as much as I can doing real deep detail work.
Now here I'm going back in with the number one guard with the lever all the way open. And I'm going to just be scooping out just to uh, go ahead and try to give this haircut some nice shape. Now before I start blow drying his hair I will be using this product called Elegance Hair Serum. It basically protects the hair from the heat and also helps me add volume. So now using a round brush and my blow dryer I'm going to go ahead and uh, start to blow dry his hair and also add volume. Now as you guys can see the haircut is pretty much coming all together and now the next step is to go ahead and line them up. And to go ahead and line them up I always like to trim down the baby hairs that he has in the front just to make it easier for me when I go in with the liners. So for his hairline I am using my cordless detailers and I always like to start off in the middle and then uh, finish off one side first and then uh, once I finish off one side then I move on to the other side and you basically all you want to do is go ahead and match the other side with the one you already did and you guys really want to take your time on the lineup just because it really is a big part of the haircut uh, because you could have an all right uh, type of fade but if you have a super crispy line that looks perfect uh, you could kind of get away with any little imperfections that you have in the fade i'm not saying have imperfections in the fade i'm just saying the lineup is really important so make sure you guys take your time on the lineup And as you guys can see, he is super crispy already. He doesn't really need any type of enhancements. But if you guys know me, I like to add that extra touch. I like my clients leaving out of my chair feeling super fresh. So I think adding the airbrush uh, a nice helps pop. the haircut a lot and give it... So instead of using pomade and leaving his hair shiny, I am going to be using this texture powder just to give his hair that matte finish and also give it some hold.
So that pretty much wraps up the haircut. His haircut looks super clean. Like his hairline is super crispy. That fade is nice and blurry. And his hair is nice and styled. Like it's dope. But if you guys like this video, please give that thumbs up. Also comment down any feedback that you guys have. But don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Zapeta the Barber. Go over there, show some love. But that's it for me this video, you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one.